Okay, in this vid, I'm going to be, first of all, it's going to be an unfiltered, unedited video. Sorry, don't have time this week to sit down and edit the video like last time. I just thought it'd be better just to, you know, get the video out there and give you guys the, the info that you might want. So this video is going to be a no bullshit breakdown on what it takes to lose weight, what it takes to lose fat, what it takes to get shredded. Okay. How the fuck do you lose that belly you got on your, on your frame? How do you lose those man boobs you got on your frame? How do you lose weight in general? This is going to be a video for both males and females. So if you're interested in, you know, if you've gotten this bullshit idea on what that actually takes because of whatever you've seen online, then I hope this video clarifies a few things and gives you a few more pointers in the right direction. So to start, you must be in a calorie deficit. You know, you've uh, many of you heard it all before, you know, calories in, calories out and all that bullshit, but it's true. It is true. But the thing, the problem I have with that is it's not practical advice that everyone can use. No one gives a fuck, first of all, about tracking their calories or tracking their protein or whatever. And not many people have time to worry about that shit. They just want to make sure that they're eating the right foods and eating the right um, amount of food to lose weight. So the key, the key theme to this video and the key piece of advice I'd give is start fasting. But bro, I'm so hungry in the morning, bro. Breakfast is the most important. Shut the fuck up, fam, okay? Just shut up. Breakfast is not the most important meal of the day, so stop believing that shit. Two, you are not hungry. You've just programmed your brain to crave cereal in the morning because that's what you've been doing for the past 20 years or however, however long you've been alive. I'm not shitting on breakfast, by the way. If you're eating a high-protein, high-fat, extremely low-carb or whatever or zero carb breakfast, then that's perfectly fine. You know, half an hour after you wake up, there's nothing wrong with that. But if for the past, however long you've been alive, you're eating a shit breakfast and you feel that you're using that excuse that it's the most important meal of the day and it's going to give you energy throughout the day, chances are that's the number one reason why you feel like shit in your days. That's the number one reason why you're always tired, you're always moody or whatever, but that can be a separate video. So start fasting if you want to lose weight would be my advice and what has worked for me. For the first four to five hours of your day, have something to do, whether that's work, school work, a workout, any form of work where you're focused and you're doing it and you're not fucking distracted and you're not bored, then make sure you have that and you're doing that for the first four or five hours of your day. Maybe you're still in school. Go to class, okay? And if you do get hungry, then here's what I'd suggest that you do, okay? And it will, it might, it might, for some of you, you might be in a position where it's so bad because you've been relying on Frosties for like 20 years that you're like craving that sugar, you're craving those carbs early in the morning. So here's what you, how you need to start off your day and here's what worked for me. So obviously you have something to do for the first four or five hours of your day. When you wake up, Instead of breakfast, go brush your teeth. Don't be weird. Don't be fucking weird, man. Go brush your teeth straight away. That should be a habit, anyways. Like I don't know why. You, how can you go down, sit with that smelly ass breath, and eat food, man? It's just gotta gotta be clean up that part of your day, okay? Go straight away, brush your teeth. What this will do is it will get rid of any cravings or hunger that you have. Two. Um, after you brush your teeth, what will also help with um, your cravings or your hunger, if you do have any, um, is a cold glass of coffee, cold glass of sparkling water, or chug a bottle of water. This will get rid of any hunger you have, any cravings you have, um, until it is time to eat, right? So, having said that, you don't, you shouldn't, starve yourself okay it's important that you eat when you're hungry and it's important as well that you eat when you might not even be hungry so what happens what tends to happen when you start to get into a fasted routine is that one o'clock to 12 p.m 1 p.m will come around and you won't even be hungry after like four days of fasting you'll be like what the fuck like i could keep working i could keep going until like three 
But what's, what's wrong with that is you'll get fucking, you'll starve. You're like, you'll literally be starving at 3 p.m. And then you'll start overeating and you'll end up eating more calories, more food than you would have ate if you actually had that shit breakfast. So you'll end up putting on weight probably. So don't do that. Don't eat only when you're starving. Just fast first four, four five hours of the day. Get your cold coffee, cold sparkling water, chug a bottle of water, get to work. And when it's 12 p.m., 1 p.m., go down and cook your healthy healthy meal, whatever that's, you know, whatever that is. But it should be a high protein source with a complex carb and some vegetables. That's what, what what's worked for me. And that's how you can ensure that you're getting in enough protein as well if you go to the gym. So do that. And then after, you know, chances are you won't be hungry for another few hours, but you can snack, have a protein bar, have an apple, stuff like that. And then what will happen is it will be like 5 p.m. And you'll, you know, you will be kind of hungry, but not really. Um, And then it'll probably be like if you had one meal so far, say at 12 or 1 p.m., you'll last last another couple hours, three hours, whatever it is. Then have have a snack, like a protein bar and an apple. And then that will take you to like seven until dinner time basically and then at dinner you can enjoy yourself you can but obviously make sure you're eating a high protein meal so you can have like a a hefty steak and potatoes and you can even fit in like a a scoop of ice cream afterwards but obviously i wouldn't recommend that but in in theory you probably could now i say probably is because this is intuitively eating this is eating assuming that you're in a deficit but as i said this is what worked for me and chances are you will be in a deficit if you follow the instructions which I've outlined. Also, the second biggest, easiest, sorry, the second easiest way to lose weight is to bulk. Yep, I said it. Mm -hmm. The easiest way to cut is to bulk. If you are not going to the gym and partaking in weightlifting and trying to add muscle to your frame, you're going to have a hell, but you're going to have just a shit time trying to, <laughs> what was that? Hell. <laughs> you're going to have a shit time trying to lose weight. The reason this is the case is by going to the gym consistently and eating high protein, eating five meals a day, which are all high protein, snacking on high protein snacks, you're going to grow. You're going to build muscle. You're going to become a bigger human. So what does this do? When you're a bigger human, you require more energy to survive. You require more energy to do the things you would normally do in the day. Therefore, you require more calories. Yeah, you require more calories as you become a bigger human. So for people who can't be fucked to track their calories or track their protein or whatever it is, and you're just sticking to that five meal a day, high protein source diet, what will happen is as you become a bigger human, you will need more calories. Your me- so your metabolic rate will increase, therefore, which means you need more calories. And if you keep continue on eating the same shit every day, which is not bad, by the way, stick to that. You'll essentially either – see, this is where it gets tricky. You'll, anyways, you'll essentially be burning more calories than you're eating sooner or later. So what will happen is as you gain muscle, you'll also lose fat. This is called a body recomposition. Now I'm explaining this in terms of without excluding tracking your calories, which is why it may sound fucking stupid, but I hope I've kind of made it clear on what I mean. So that's another optimal way in trying to shed fat, lose weight, gain muscle, especially if obviously if you haven't started going to the gym, start going to the gym and you will, You know, you won't regret it. It will help you on your weight loss journey. So adding muscle to your frame, fasting, both key ways to lose fat. Notice I say lose fat, not lose weight. Although lose weight sort of, they both go hand in hand, but losing fat is essentially keeping muscle on your frame. Losing weight is anyone who just wants to lose fat or lose weight in general without adding muscle to your, your frame which I completely just mind boggles me why you would even do that without going to the gym because it'll just make your life so much easier. 
Um, but at the end of the day, guys, it does come down to being in a calorie deficit. So if you want to make sure that you're eating enough calories to be in a deficit, go online and find out what your maintenance calories are, what your deficit calories are, and weigh out your food and track your food and make sure you're in a deficit. If you can't be fucked to do that, do what I've told you in this in this video. But there's also, if you can afford to do a meal delivery service or a meal plan, then that can be absolutely life changing because what will it will have the macros first of all, so you'll know you're getting enough protein, and it'll have the calories on each meal. So instead of cooking your normal meals, which you think are healthy but are in reality like drenched in olive oil and shit which increases the calories you'll be eating the same delicious food but which are lower calorie and you'll you'll know how many calories you're eating without having to put in the effort and you know how much protein you're eating without having to put in the effort so if you can afford that i highly recommend you get on a meal plan service that's what i do i cook half my meals i order i get a meal plan delivered for half my meals um so there's that and then there's also cardio now this is where some bots have it confused where they think if you go on a run, you somehow excuse yourself to eat a pizza or you somehow delude yourself to think that that's how you're going to lose weight. Or if you do fucking yoga or Pilates or a spin class or a football match on the weekend, that's somehow going to make you lose weight. That's not how it works. You need to be in a consistent calorie deficit. And for those who aren't, trying to tra track their calories or track their steps or whatever, this is what I would recommend you do. Obviously, go to the gym, and after every gym session, include a low-intensity cardio session after your workout. So an incline treadmill, let's say, a slow walking pace on the incline treadmill for 10 to 30 minutes. And this is how you will see insane results. This is how you will lose weight and gain muscle simultaneously and this is the best pathway to it but if you're doing that anyways and you're like bro i'm eating healthy i'm fucking going to the gym uh i i think i'm doing it correctly you're probably not to be honest you probably are missing some information maybe last watch my last vid but you probably are aren't informed as much as you sh can be to optimize the way you lose weight or build muscle but if you're you know you're eating healthy you know you're eating your cooked meals, which could be healthier, but, you know, they're still healthy, right? You cut out junk food as much as you can. Oh, I'm still not seeing anything. Then I would recommend you start fasting and um, trying to do that because challenge start, that will help. Um, what else? But, yeah, that's pretty much it. That's pretty much all I, the advice I'd give. Sorry for the shit shaky video, but I just wanted to make sure I get it. I got in a video uh, this week, so I hope this has been helpful. Again, if you have any questions, leave them in the comment section. Uh, and yeah, peace.